going to go feed your fish, Ma? One time, my mommy was trying to get all the dirty water out, but then it hopped into the sink. So then she had to scoop it back up and throw it in here before it died. I like being a mom. I like being their safe person and being someone that they can <laughs> trust. That's my most important job. And that's when I got adopted. I've never gone to like an adoption agency and never like became a foster parent or anything. So it was just different girls have ended up in my life at different times. Lexi has three daughters. The oldest is Tiffany, who lives in Missouri now. And then myself and Melody. Tiffany and Melody were both adopted and Lexi got legal guardianship of me when I was 16. Good job. One day after youth group, Becca came up to me and she said, Lexi, will you adopt me? And I said, I can't just go around adopting people. She's like, well, you adopted Tiffany. So we sat and talked about it. And when I really explained the difference between like adoption and legal guardianship, she realized she doesn't want her mom to stop being her mom. She just wants to live with me. So we ended up doing legal guardianship. A few years later, Becca's niece, Melody, who I have now, needed a place to live. It's not much different than being a, a regular grandfather. I got a grandchild a little quicker in, in the uptake, as it were. You know, Melody's just a delight. From day one, she, it seemed like she belonged. She was happy. Always the first choice should be for kids to be able to stay with their birth parent and not to have that wound. But the fact that she calls me mom and that I'm her mom, it's a story of redemption, right? That something so horrible can turn into something so beautiful because we have a wonderful life. So many great adventures and so much fun that she wouldn't have had otherwise. On November 8, 2018, the campfire came through Paradise. Right over there in the cul-de-sac is where Melody first learned to ride her bike without training wheels, only eight days before the fire. First day riding your bike, no training wheels. Go, Mel, go. Woo! Around here, the November 8th date is kind of the date that lives in infancy. It changed everything in a day. This is the neighborhood that I was living in with Melody. We were living at my mom's house. This is my old neighborhood, what's left of it. I tried my best to not make it a traumatic experience for Melody, just like, we just need to get stuff together. There's a fire nearby and it might come, it might not, but let's just get all our important stuff. Filled up our car and got out pretty quickly. 26,000 people suddenly, everything they had was gone. We found out the very next morning that my mom's house had burned down. You don't think it could burn a whole town, but it did. It did. After the campfire, we got a trailer and we stayed in that for a couple months before we went to live in India. She had this vision of working with children in India, especially little girls, and after the fire, that dream did eventually come true. Lexi's work has always been to save children. I've always liked children. My degrees in child development, I've always worked with kids. And this is our pictures of India. The girls that I worked with in India were all daughters of women that work in the red light district. So the founder of the home went and met with the women that were rescued out of trafficking, and they were grown women, and they told her, in our culture, we'll never be accepted again. Take our daughters, raise our daughters, give them a different life. The girls in India became family to us. One of the girls asked if they could call me mom. So I told her yes, because I thought we were staying there forever. Oh boy, oh boy, what is it? <gasps> I got called into the director's office she let me know that because of problems with my visa that Melody and I were gonna have to leave. Everything in my life was leading up to being mom to these girls and being able to take care of them. It still feels like, um, like I just miss them so much. You know, like I have 23 daughters that are across the ocean and that need me. And I love them and I miss them and I want to be with them. 
Um, so no, it's still hard. I still don't know, um, like the reason. I don't know the reason. How do you leave your kids? How do you leave people that call you mom? It's horrible. And for a while, we were really working on like that one day we would go back. I finally feel like we've got to let go of that. Like that's not, that's, it's not the calling right now. It's not what we're supposed to be doing. Everyone has their own path. Everyone has their own messages. And if anybody needs anything, you know, they can come to Lexi and she'll do whatever she can to help them. You know, she traveled to, to India to be mom of 20 girls. And she gives away kidneys. <laughs> She was only 23 at the time. I was like in like total kidney failure. She didn't even know her. I mean, this was a this was a friend of a friend. If you found out you were a match, wouldn't you give some to your kidney? She's she's a helper person. Okay, Mel, where are my socks? Where are my socks is the better question. <laughs> We've been in a mother-in-law suite now. It's been great. I mean, it's just what we needed when we got back because um, we didn't have any furniture. <laughs> so it was great to have a place that was all furnished. Denise, she lives upstairs and her mom came for Christmas so we had to go get an Airbnb. As it came more and more clear like God wants us to stay here and stay in Oroville, it's like oh, we need to find another place to live because it's not going to work to like once or twice a year have to move out of your house. I think I was looking for just like what was around here that I could afford. Um, and an ad popped up for a tiny house. I was like, oh, I didn't think about that. That could work. So just started researching and looking into tiny house builders. So Melody is gonna come in from there. Felt pretty clear that that's what was gonna work out best. Be able to like still just work part-time and be able to take care of Melody and there's a lot of displaced people looking for apartments and housing. I didn't want to take one of their spots. That was her next adventure. I want a tiny home. I want to live light on the earth. Okay, that's, that's good. The rule is, this is how many toys she gets. And when it starts to overflow, she has to donate toys. Okay. Getting a little heavy. Here it comes. We are so excited to be here with Melody and Lexi to present them with their brand new tiny house. <laughs> From the moment that we met you, we knew there was something special about you. We, we heard your story and we were so amazed at how much you do to help people. And we also want to thank you for giving us this opportunity to build this beautiful home for you on behalf of Pacifica Tiny Homes, Zetter Home Wines, and Operation Tiny Home, we're ready to show you the inside. Yay. Welcome home. Thank you. <laughs> Kiss. Kiss. Wow. Thank Look inside. You. you can go in your room, sure. Pantry. Woohoo! Will I fit? Yes! Normally, you know, I'll try to be a part of the construction of the homes and, mm -hmm. you know, this time it wasn't possible, but we still wanted to give you something that was a real gift. Check out the little drawer underneath the stairs. A box. Let's get it out. Let's see. We got the key. Should we try it? Yep. Whoa. Is that cool? I wanted to make it a keepsake box. <gasps> put special things in here. Mm -hmm. Everything that you do to give to other people is, is it the gift of yourself, is that gift of love, and to acknowledge the importance of the heart and in, in your work and your life is what we wanted to do. Can I show you the house? I would love to see the house. All right, give them a tour. It's my room. Wow. The toys are up here. This is cool. <laughs> What do you like best? Uh, uh, everything is so close by. <laughs> I don't need a lot of things. So you just learn what's important. Like I have important things, but 
a small amount. Family is most important. <laughs> Wait, what if I grab it and hold it? <laughs> you want a kiss on your forehead? Yeah. yeah. Good night.